Hi guys, hi guys, hi. Assalamualaikum. How is everybody? So, I have a lot to talk about. I don't feel like it because I just don't. I have chicken burgers and all I had to drink was like Coke or Sprite, so not much choice there. I have fries, but there's like a random waffle fry in my fries, so bismillah. Mmm. Cheese, mayo, lettuce, and pickles. A million percent did not feel like cooking. I'm just like energyless. I can't order Uber Eats by myself, the phone number is so long, so if I order it, we'll wake him up. Mortadella sandwich. I'm multigrain. I might go home for a while. It's nothing against Salah at all. Like, I love him so much. But sometimes I'm just like really conflicted and like within myself and like feel like I have. It's like a me problem. Like, even though he assure, reassures me that he accepts me for how I am, I go by whenever I want to, I want to drive around on the long road sometimes. <laughs> It's just that sometimes it's hard not having the comforts or the crutches that I had in Canada. You know, I know this is bad to say as a Muslim, but I do miss like the wheelchairs sometimes, not wheelchairs, like, but and I know it's bad for me and it's an addiction. So the thing is, it's like, then I think about Canada. And when I'm there, I miss like my cat here. I miss Harry, I miss Salah, I miss my you know, home here and things about Kuwait. I wish I could drive around. I can't drive here. I think you need an international light. Like, I thought you could drive with your- I'm not sure if you can drive with my, my license or... It's not safe. It's like really crazy to drive here alone and... I feel like betraying him talking about this online, I know. But this, I need to feel free to like express myself as well. I just feel like I, I have limited freedom in certain things. I just want to deal with some health things too. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, why am I so effing fucking stupid? Like, I don't care about myself or something. Like, I know my blood pressure's high right now. I have a headache and I'm smoking. I don't even care. I feel like I have duties as a wife that I just don't- can't, I can't do all the time. Or do I even want to sometimes, you know? He's accepted the entire package. Yeah, but like a part of me doesn't believe that. You know what I mean, Golden Girl? Like, a part of me feels like he doesn't really know because we got married so fast. I just like to be free to do whatever I want, whenever I want. Like, I don't know, but I think I'm going to go home for a while. And it's just getting in the car and going anywhere I want. And if I want to, he'll book it for me. He's understanding, actually. I know you I know what you mean. I'm not gonna. I'll just show up one day in Canada and be like, hi, I'm the Kiyo. I was listening to a, was it a thread or my hair? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I thought it was a thread. Just trying to eat in peace. These like I stay awake at night sometimes with these insecurities and these fears and uncertainties, but you know. He does care for wear the hijab. He would never want me to take it off. He freaks out if there's a hair showing, so that's not true. He does care for wear the hijab. He would never want me to take it off. He freaks out if there's a hair showing, so... I did a live stream. I'm talking about my feelings opening up a bit, which I haven't done in a while. And I, today I'm feeling a bit different. I can't order Uber Eats by myself, the phone number is so long, so if I order it, we'll wake him up. I think I was having a bout of homesickness. <laughs> I'll be a sweetest pie tomorrow? Oh, you know it. You know, I'm gonna manipulate the fuck out of you, and you're gonna eat it up, and you're gonna watch me. <laughs> da da ba dee, da 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 da, doo 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 doo, da la 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 la. <laughs> Drive through time, baby. All right, shh. Go by whenever I want to. I want to drive around on the long road sometimes. <laughs> Hi, can I have a veggie burger combo with onion rings and a Diet Pepsi? Whole wheat or white Um, whole wheat. What would you like on the burger? Um, ketchup mustard relish. Okay. And that's it. So, 925. Thanks. Okay. 
Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey. <laughs> I don't know where the hell that came from. The heck that came from. I'm trying not to swear. Hi! So, uh, no, I wasn't cooking today. Right off the bat, I'm gonna get that out of the way. So I came to Harvey's, you know, one of my favorite fast food places. Got some onion rings. <sighs> got some onion rings and I got a burger. So, also, I need to let you know, I know there's no veggies on this burger. I'm, every time I get a burger here, the lettuce and tomato are like janky and I'm just like not feeling it. Beauty bite. Beauty bite. So, today's TMI Tuesday. Um, I got a lot of thumbs up on the idea of talking about my lover with a long ponytail. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> How are you guys? Covering my ugly tattoo. Yeah. So anyways, guess what I have? Just guess. Well, you know by the title, actually. So that's right. More pizza pizza. I'm addicted. Like, I'm addicted, no choke, to pizza pizza. <gasps> Ew! Uh, the onion rings are soggy! I'm gonna go crisp them up in the oven and I'll be back in a bit. Shame on you, pizza pizza. Shame on you. <laughs> I tried, but they're still not as crispy as they should be. <laughs> pizza time! Yeah, yeah. All right, let's dig in. Jalapeno cheddar. Sorry if I'm over the top. I'm hyper. I'm like naturally a hyper type of person. Um, so let's have a flattened onion ring together with jalapeno. Still not bad. <laughs> hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey. How are you? How are you? Well, um, I showed you that clip of the. That was pizza and what Santa had last night. Um, yes, after a lot of people are gonna say that's so crazy. Um, you know, after everything you've been through at the ER, you know, after your diabetes diagnosis, everything. Yes, I know. And um, I guess I showed you that because I don't wanna hide it. You know, I feel like I have a problem and I don't want to hide it. I mean, why should I hide it, right? It's something I'm going through and I wanna be truthful and transparent with myself and with everybody because I think that's the best approach, um, no matter how wrong something is that I do. So I I just don't know what to do anymore. I mean, I feel <clears throat> just I'm wearing a wig because you know what? I'm having a bad hair day. I just want to say I'm struggling right now. So I just thought I would use this kind of like a video diary today because I don't feel like doing much else. I'm, <sighs> I was sleeping. I was having such a good dream and then... I woke up and it's it's really grim to wake up to a reality you don't like being in. I just don't love the health reality I'm in, like the reality I'm in right now. I don't trust myself. I have an illness, but not just that. My illness makes me lie to myself a lot. So, for example, getting takeout last night. Like, I'm, I'm completely addicted to eating takeout and I don't know how to stop it. Um, my illness is lying to me and, and convincing me that... I don't care anymore. Like I want to just eat out and just, you know, <laughs> not, just not care. Just not care. Just not care. I just want to deal with some health things too. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, why am I so effing fucking stupid? Like, I don't care about myself or something. Like, I know my blood pressure's high right now. I have a headache and I'm smoking. Like, I don't even care. Or for example, I was lying to myself and it was like about the takeout with the, the vegetarian place. Oh, it's just vegetarian. So it's healthier and they make the food from scratch. But it's still possible to, it's still takeout, right? At the end of the day, it's still takeout. So I was lying to myself yesterday about that. And then I thought, well, it's always just, I did this, so I may as well just let it all go. You know, just give in, just give in, just give in, just give in. And it's like those signals of just give in are like all day long and they're so overwhelming. And just, it's so tempting, the thought of just retreating back into that comfort zone. It's just that sometimes it's hard not having the comforts or the crutches that I had in can you know, that you've used for so long as like a warm blanket against everything that you're afraid to face in the world, you know? That removing that blanket and being left with that cold, hard reality and that cold feeling of anxiety and just that, those horrible feelings. <clears throat> and I know that over time they go away, but over time, right? And it's so easy to just say, okay, just one more time, just. Just like when you have, wrap yourself in the blankets in the morning before get, getting up to go to work or school, you're like, just five more minutes. And those five minutes just never help, right? So that's, I guess, as much as I can explain. And I know a lot of you have a lot of solutions that are very helpful. I appreciate it. 
but um, I have to keep looking for some help. I always, 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 always said, I don't want to be diabetic, I don't want to be diabetic. And then just putting off change eventually led to me being diabetic. So, yes, it's real. It's real now. So beyond that, I don't really know what else to talk about, honestly. Um, just that I'm in a health crisis and I need to get better. And I'm still really figuring out how to do that. I just need some, some help and... I just always feel like I'm back at square one, you know. I can't really, I can't walk that far. Like, I'm just going to say it. I can't walk. I can't go. I can't do anything. My breathing is so bad. Just walking to the living room right now is, you know, almost leaves me breathless. At least walking upstairs does. <sighs> walking to the car leaves me breathless. Um, so I can't just go out and just go for small walks without support of my walker. Sometimes I, I mean, that's why I keep doing this. That's why I keep, you know, people say, why do you do this to yourself? Why do you keep filming this stuff? If You know, you're going to get backlash. And I, because a part of me thinks that it's important to keep doing it because of the backlash because to me it's backlash kind of means that I should keep going and you know like, I don't know how to explain it really I appreciate you listening to me and I'll see you in the next video bye guys this is childproof too. help me